Sometimes forex trading is a wild and woolly place to be. That's why Hughes here. To pose your questions to Walter, the naked forex guy. Hughes got questions and Walter's got the answers. Here at the Truth About FX Podcast. Hey Walter, somebody wrote in and asked, how do I design a suitable trading plan for a particular account size? Right. So this is interesting. Um, I think there's kind of the subtext here, which is I have a really small account and I want to make it grow it as fast as I can. So how do I find a strategy that, do you know what I mean? I think that's kind of the underlying thing here. So I can, I can understand that. But here's the thing, like, so if you want to maximize your account, then you're going to have to trade something along the lines of um, the optimal F, which we all know is Ralph Vince's thing. Basically, here's the works, and people don't think of this, but the higher the win rate of your strategy, the, so the optimal F is the, is the percentage of your account that you should risk on every trade if you want to grow your account as, at, to as much as possible, right? That's what optimal F is. The problem is it leads to horrendous drawdowns. And what people people don't know is actually the higher your win rate, the more it's going to say, the, the, the higher the number of the optimal F. So if you have an 80% win rate system, optimal F might be like risking 35% of your account on any given trade. Whereas if you had like a 20% win rate, you know, the optimal F might be risking 9% on any given trade. I don't know. I'm just pulling numbers out of my rear, but that's basically what happens with optimal F. So what does that mean? If you have a high win rate system and you're risking a lot per trade, that means your drawdown is going to be a lot. So the paradoxical thing about optimal F is that the high you risk per trade because you have a higher win rate. So the higher win rate you have, the more deeper your drawdowns are. Isn't that crazy? That's because they they know that you, you know, you're going to eventually get out of it more quickly. But that's kind of the stock answer is use Optimal F if you want to grow the account as quickly as possible. The problem is anyone who's taken an account down 90% so that they're left with you know 8 or 9% of the original balance knows that it's hard to keep trading after mm-hmm. that happens. Oh, yeah. it's, it's really easy to go... <laughs> Uh, I blew it, you know, (laughs) but uh, with optimal F, you have to keep powering on, you know, so this is what I would say about um, trading um, your account size for a particular strategy. Think about like what is a realistic goal? What is something that you think would make sense for you over time? Is it 30% a year, 50% a year, 12% a year? And then work backwards off of that, right? So what you do is you back test your strategy, you find out what your win rate is, your average winner, your average loser, you get your expectancy. And then from there, you decide, now what kind of a drawdown do I want to avoid? Is it 20% drawdown? Okay, then you then from there, you can use the risk calculator that we'll put in the show notes for this episode, and you can figure out what's your risk per trade that you should be using with this system. Okay. Now that you've got all that, now you can say, okay, what's my goal uh, with my system? And remember that when you're using compounding, your account's going to grow faster than you think it is. So, if, he, if your goal is to take you know a $5,000 account up to $100,000, you can actually backwards engineer that and go, well, this is my win rate. This is my average winner, my average loser. Um, this is the amount uh, that I'm going to risk per trade because I'm trying to avoid that 25% drawdown. So after X number of years, I'm able to get to 100000 That's the way to do it is to backwards engineer it so you have a goal in mind. If that's what you're trying to do here is get to a certain level, that's what I would do. So remember, you the critical piece here that people forget is you you got to keep in mind that drawdown percentage that's going to cause you to fail. And what I mean by, I mean by fail is you're going to stop trading, you're going to stop doing your system, you're going to change the system or move to a different one or change the way that you're doing things because you're freaking out because you've lost too much money. So you got to get that piece too. Once you know the goal, the amount that you want to reach, and you know your numbers for your trading system, and you know the drawdown that you're trying to avoid, then you can piece it all together and you can figure out, okay, this is how I'm going to reach my goal and this is how long it's going to take. Awesome. Yeah, we're going to put that in the show notes, but uh, if you guys want to check that out, go to truthaboutfx.com. And thanks for that, Walter. That was awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Hugh. 